What's going on guys, Galaz Ark here, and today we're going to be building a nice big aviary for some finches and canaries and stuff like that. And we've got a bunch of these wood for the parrot aviary, some little logs for accent wood for the finch, but we'll be getting some big hunger logs for the finch aviary. But, let's get started over here, we've got some wood, all four sides are going to be equal, so it's going to be like a square, and we've got 2.7, so it's going to be the bottom and the top. And then two meters, so two meters tall, 2.7 by 2.7 meters either other way. And we're gonna do this, so three feet apart, which is the length of the mesh. So the mesh will be going up there, and then we'll put little support pieces in between of 0.9 meters. So yeah, let's get this together. So we've used this drill, a smaller bit than the width of the nails, so you can drill it in just to avoid any cracking and to get it straight. So we'll put the pilot holes in and then we'll put all the nails in halfway so that we know that it's in place so that if we get it any slightly wrong, we can take the nails out if need be. But now that these are all in perfectly, we can nail them fully in and... So, the whole frame is now finished and complete and look at that. Really nice, dirty frame. Just gotta do the middle beams and then put the mesh over top of that and then this will be great. So I quickly put together this saw boss which will be very handy for building this aviary but now we're just gonna measure for 90 centimeters and then we will cut at that mark. So right here, we'll cut about there and then put them in between. So as you can see, these bits, you can't really nail them in from this side, so that's why the drilling is very important, so that you can drill a pilot hole on an angle, and then just nail them in, so that they're nice, and that is secure. So we've made the full structural frame, now time to mesh up all the sides, and put all the middle things in, that looks great, nice and sturdy, and this will be the back panel which will be going against the garage there. We're gonna be trimming down that rose bush a lot so that we can get it behind there. And yeah, it's gonna look great. So we have two of the three sides done. Just gonna do that with mesh and then we'll just mesh it up, look nice. And also we're gonna be painting this black so that it's pretty much see-through. It will be great. As you can see, just the shadow casting over there you can see the mesh and then you can barely even see the mesh just where that shadow is and then they'll all be like that and so you can see everything super clear. Trimming this rose bush out of the way so that we can slide the paneling behind here and we'll take off this trellis here, move the compost and then just get this place cleared so we can put that there and start constructing the rest of the panels. So we've taken the whole bush down as well as the trellis and that is a nice clean surface now. We were able to slide that in but we're going to be making the front and the side so that we can level this all out as it slopes it downwards a lot there. So we're going to be adding like a small creek to the aviary as well. So if we want that to work it needs to be completely level. So we're just going to level it out with a bunch of soil and do a little boarding thing here so that the soil doesn't pour out into that. So we are starting to level this out with a lot of dirt, wheelbarrow after wheelbarrow, and we use some wood here that we just use as a little border so the dirt doesn't fall into here. Just shows old pallet woods and stuff. We took down the old gate that was here and it just opens it up a lot more. Leveling it out, make it all level. The chickens are having fun pecking in the, the new soil. But we're just getting this long piece of wood, putting the leveling tool on just to make sure that it's all nice and level and just looks so much better and open out here. Can't wait to 
get the aviary on this. So we've pretty much got the whole thing level and it is looking so much better. Nice clean ground, no grass, no nothing to start planting on and building. But let's get the back and front on and then we'll start attaching the sides. So, right now, for all these structural beams, we are connecting these sides to the stuff that's already there, and we're using screws, as nails wouldn't really work for this, as we experienced, so we'll switch to screwing in all of these and this is pretty much solid and then we'll do the same to this side and then we'll put the middle panels in mesh it and a door will be going here because the parrot aviary will be here so then this will be the double door coming in here so yeah it's looking great so far all so putting these in and we've got them all cut these aren't actually in but they're just a bit perfectly snug so we're going to attach all these build the door that's on okay got all these in now and it's looking great time to build the door and then meshing so we have created the door and we are now stapling it on and look at that that looks beautiful nice and very sturdy door which will be going in this spot right here and then we will staple in mesh here and we're doing staples this time not fence staples because we don't want to hammer this and damage the structural support on there so let's get this mesh on and attach it to the aviary it is one beautiful sunset out but we have meshed this whole side. I'm on a step ladder right now. But got the door right here and we're starting to put the these hinges that we got right there. And then we're just putting these big bolts in. So I'm now inside the aviary and it is pretty much almost fully secured in. Got the door there that we made. Looks incredible and works great. We have nearly finished this whole side as well. We're just using the staple gun to just staple the mesh on. And yeah, let's open the door. And swings open great. And just closes up. We've still got to buy some locks and latches to keep it shut. But got some of the nice big hinges. Works terrifically. And yeah, it is a nice big aviary and soon to do the roof and to design it thank you guys so much for watching this video i think this aviary turned out so well and then the next part of this we are going to be adding the roof we're going to be adding a nice little creek plants rocks wood everything to make this as natural as possible for all the finches and just can't wait so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time